Hello everyone, oh, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Alright, now, just before we actually, actually get started, I just want you guys to know I am not feeling the best. So I'm going to try to make this episode really short, if possible. Um, I know yesterday I was saying that my voice hurt a little bit, but it's getting a little worse, so I'm going to hopefully be able to record today's episode and tomorrow's episode today. I just want to address the reason there's been no gaming videos this week. It's because my laptop hates me. <laughs> I've tried recording Minecraft episodes so much this week, but every time my laptop shuts off in the middle of recording, or when I try to make it, the sound's off, or something terrible happens that I can't recover it and I can't fix it. So, I might... There will be no gaming video this week. Hopefully, I'll be able to make tomorrow's video uh, just for Roblox game development. But I am not sure how possible that's going to be. However, let's get to the real work. Okay, sorry. I <clears throat> There it goes again. I had a coughing attack and a sneezing attack. And it wasn't fun. Uh, but back to the real job at hand. Alright, today we're going to fix a couple issues. Uh, again, actually we're going to fix one issue, the jittering. And then we're going to fix the issue of our game not really... Well, how can I say this? We're going to fix the issue that our player can jump through things. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a minute. Oh, now he's not having a jittering issue. Of course, always when I try to show you guys something, that's when everything works out fine and dandy. Alright, let's go down to player, player GY, uh, 2D game, window, see I can't even think straight right now, too much. Sorry guys, but I can't, I can't just not let a video out when I have, when I can. Ah, uh, no, he is jittering. Yes, he is. Just a little, little bit, but he is jittering. Which means we can still fix this. And there I go again. Ah. This is going to take me more time to film this episode than edit it for once. Alright. So. Not workspace script. Start GY. 2D game. Window. Play a script. Come on. Play a script. Alright. Now. There's a couple. A couple issues we got here. Um. He's jittering because he's he's too he's too far onto the platforms, right? So how can we fix this to make sure he's actually on the platforms uh, and he's not gonna jitter? Well, we actually have to make him go through the platform just a little bit, but it won't be terrible. Hopefully, we can do it to the point where nobody can notice unless they zoom in as much as you guys will when I actually show you the game uh, play. But how can we do this? Well, we just go down to here where we're fixing the player, and we're just going to add in point zero zero, and we'll go with seven for double oh seven, cause he's so awesome. And what this should do is fix that jittering problem. So now let's press F six. Now that that is fixed, and hopefully, cross your fingers. Hope to die if it doesn't. Uh, no, not really. Don't hope to die for anything, people. But, uh... Hopefully it'll work! Okay, start. Hmm, point, point .007 seems to be a little, little bit too far. Um, in fact, quite a bit too far. Because you can really notice that. So... Let's just add another zero. Triple O seven. Cause we're better than double O seven. Totally better than James Bond. Alright, it's a loading. Come on. Finish loading. Again, great job, Gold Hydro, but sometimes it gets annoying. Alright, now you guys can't even tell. But I believe, hopefully, cross your fingers again. Let's go to player GUI, 2D game, window, player, and go down to his position. It looks, yes, his Y position is actually stable. Alright, so he is now stable and we fixed that issue. Now the next issue, 
I will show you guys real quick by moving this top platform here down quite a bit. Uh, let's go with it. Probably if I move it down to point eight. Let's see. Yes. All right. Look at this. As I unhide. No. Get out of the way. Charms bar. Watch, as I jump through, jump up, he'll jump through it. He doesn't stop his jump when he hits it. He jumps through it. That is definitely a problem. How can we fix that, though? That's not actually as easy as you may think. Um, because we need another collision detection formula. Yes, another function. We're going to call this one, not floor check, not top collision or anything like that. We're going to call it function, uh, I'll call it function, uh, underneath. Yeah, that'll work. Function underneath. And we're just going to do a very, very similar thing to this floor check, uh, only slightly different. But we are going to copy this, um, and then, I, oh, by the way, forgot your username already. I'm so sorry, but um, I'll have an annotation to this guy's channel. Uh, he was very helpful. He gave me a great idea to enhance the speed of our floor check. And that is, instead of returning collision and collision Y down here, we're just going to return them whenever we know there's a collision. So we're just going to return true mp oops dot position dot y dot scale and what that what we're doing by moving the return up there is we're actually changing it so that it kills the entire function and just returns it's done with the function right there it doesn't continue through the for loop if there's still stuff to check it just is done right there so it's going to enhance the speed especially for when you have hundreds of platforms or actually just tens of platforms in your game and down here we're just going to return false and zero kind of our defaults and we'll get rid of these two variables and we'll get rid of them down here and underneath uh, but now we'll make our for loop for I equals one plats do or number plats do whatever hashtag plats do uh, P equals plats I as we've always done. There we go. Okay. And now, if uh, check the X, it's actually the exact same thing as the Y scale, so we'll just paste that because there's no point in wasting your time, especially while I'm not feeling my best. Check the Y. Now, I have, again, the solution to my left and again I'm not the greatest at this so I'm going to be looking at the solution as I do this so the why sorry guys I'm, I'm doing everything I can to give you the best video I can but I have to keep pausing it so that I can clear my throat and stuff I'm sorry I hope it's not too much of a trouble for you guys anyway back to the work here um, if p dot position dot x or dot y fail that scale plus p that size that y that scale and look at that I didn't add an extra s after that l good is greater than player that position um, that y that scale and of course our last one p that position that y that scale plus p that size that y that scale is less than player that position there we go that y that scale plus player that position or not position that size that y that scale divided by two um hopefully you guys can figure that out a little bit uh, i'll just go over it real quick right here we're just checking if the bottom part which is the height or the top part plus the height the bottom part of the platform is greater than which means further down than the player's Y and if it's um, less than the player 
well, uh, the player's halfway point on the Y. All right, I'm back again. Again, I had to clear my throat. Hopefully, you guys are noticing I am actually sick, and this is not very easy. Um, hopefully, I can do a good enough job for you guys. And now we're just going to return true for the collision and p dot position dot y dot scale. But instead of that, we're also going to add in p dot size dot y dot scale. So we're returning the bottom point on the platform. And if, of course, nothing works, then we'll return false zero. Our defaults again. And now we go down here. What? What's the problem here? Oh. We forgot to add our end in here. So we'll tab that over. Okay, now it's all going to work just fine. Just fine. But we're not implementing it yet. So we need to implement it into our while loop. How, how are we going to implement it so that it works? Well, we're going to add into this line, which is checking if the y val is less than or equal to zero, then it sets it to zero and jumping equals false. Well, we're also going to add or, which means if one of these two or both are true, like if one plus one is true or two plus two, or if one plus one equals two is true or two plus two equals four is true, if either of those are true, then go through, but if both of them are true, still go through. It only takes one of the two on each side of it to work. Um, what do we, we named it underneath. Or, underneath, then. Okay. Now, actually, instead of this again, we're going to make under equal underneath, under floor equals FC, or not FC, under 1 and floor bottom y equals under 2 or under floor okay that's the boolean then y val equals 0 jumping equals false if and we're doing under floor again uh, if under floor then uh, player dot position dot oops dot y that scale equals uh floor bottom y okay so that's going to make sure he doesn't look like he went through doesn't look like he went through the platform just looks like he hit the bottom very bottom of it okay because this is the bottom so we want him to hit it and now when we test this which I know I'll have, to, I'll have to move a platform down far enough for him to actually hit it. We'll get to that in just a little tiny second. Just hold on, guys. Don't don't fret. It will happen. Yes, yes, not like okay. Now, player player one. Scroll down to player. Oh, first let's just test that it still works correctly. See, it's, he's still jumping like he used to. Now platforms second platform here move it down to point eight two this time just so it's even more obvious and let's see if it works oh ah running into the same problem we did last time I I'm I'm really not thinking well this week we can't change their scale, but we can change it to be player dot position equals u dim two dot new player dot position dot x dot scale zero floor bottom y zero, and that's how we'll do it. Because again, you can't just assign to just the scale. You can't just assign to just the y. It has to be the whole. well. Actually, you might be able to assign to just the y, but I don't really know, and I'm not gonna try it. But you can assign to the entire thing, and that's what we're doing. So now let's go to player. Now check. Okay, he's jumping just fine. We didn't do anything to harm that. Uh, don't worry there. Now platforms plat. Move it down again to point eight two, where it was kind of obvious that it was working. Oh, let's watch. Boom! He's hitting it, and he starts going straight down right away. Now he's kind of rubber banding off of everything, but 
you guys, if you want to fix that, you'll have to go through a little bit more of your very own thing. But I actually think that this works perfect for the kind of Robloxy thing we're working with. I think it just looks um, great to be like that. So, that's... He's kind of jumping when he's not on the floor, but it's not too terrible. That or I'm just getting missed frames. I'm not really sure. But it is working nonetheless. He's hitting the floor. He goes straight down. He stops going up. It's great. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button because it helps me out so much. And I will catch you guys later.